Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the urine extraction. We said that there is a renal artery which comes from the water and it enters the kidney at its concave surface. In this place here. This renal artery enters the kidney at its concave surface and then it branches into smaller atrials and as we have said the nephron has its upper part in the cortex and the inner part in the medulla so as we have said the nephron begins with the thin mold or the double mold Bowman's capsule and there are atrials here you know, like this. These are called glomeruli. So the blood is filtered at this point. Here the blood goes inside the glomeruli and the plasma is filtered from the blood. This plasma contains water, mineral salts, glucose, and wastes, such as urea and ammonia. So all these contents are filtered from the blood and only the large blood molecules and proteins remain in the blood. So what would happen if all these um, contents of plasma are expelled outside the body? They do not return once more to the blood. In this case, man would have to drink about 170 liters of water. To compensate this loss of water, mineral salts and glucose, and this would be very difficult. So, there is a process called reabsorption, reabsorption, which takes place in the um, nephron tubule. The loops which we talked about previously, if you, you want to know the structure of the nephron, just click on this link here, you will uh, know the structure of the nephron. So water, mineral sourcing, glucose return once more to the blood and the wastes like ure urea, ammonia, uric acid, all these wastes uh, are collected in the collecting ducts then they go through the pelvis, then they uh, go through the ureter, they fall into the urinary bladder, and um, after the urinary bladder is filled with blood, with, and after the urinary bladder is filled with urine, uh, it contracts, forcing this urine to go outside the body. The kidney, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra, the duct through which the urine is expelled, all those together are collectively called the urinary system of the human body. So kidneys are very important in the process of excretion. So in some cases, if one kidney doesn't work efficiently, man could live with one kidney. And in this case, the kidney uh, grows and becomes slightly bigger to perform the function of the two kidneys. While man cannot live without a kidney because the accumulation of uh, harmful wastes in the blood can lead to death. The last point is um, there is about 5.6 liters of, of uh, blood which are found inside the human body 
about um, 1600 liters of plasma or 1600 liters of blood pass through the kidney every day and this equals quarter the blood pumped by the heart also here um, from the total volume of the blood from the total volume of the blood about uh, 3 liters of plasma pass 560 times 560 times by the kidneys in order to be filtered if we multiply 3 by 560 it will result 1680 and this number is approximately as it's written in the book 1600 so the total volume of the blood 1600 liters of, uh, of the blood fat by the kidney every day, 3 liters of plasma pass 560 times uh, through the kidney in order to be filtered, and this is a part of the urine extraction. The next time we will know the, the function of the liver in the uh, urine extraction, and until then I thank you for watching and see you.